Or both. Or the, you know, I got the bathroom, the crow, and the library left, so we'll see. Library. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Terrible RNG. Hooray! Well, whatever. All right, let's do it again. Oh man, that's <laughs> and like yeah, like like that right there. I, I had the I had the idol like I had the the staff like out of like the you know the ten times I ran it, I've got the staff like three times. You know, but now it's like of course it's when I'm actually running the game that it's going to cause issues. But whatever. Like I said, we'll, we'll get decent RNG eventually. It's really not even that bad of a grind. Nothing. It's not even that bad of a grind, honestly. At least, I say that, I'm sure someone would hate it. <laughs> but that's why you, it's recommended you play games, and I would definitely recommend speedrunning games that you enjoy, because it's like, yeah, the grind's, you know, frustrating, but I like the game, so, you know, I don't mind. <laughs> I kind of want to have a... Uh, like a, a another speedrun playing on the side because this this grind is kind of boring for me even. <laughs> oh hey look we got the that RNG oops oh. cool 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 all right we got it now for like four and a half more minutes we got nothing <laughs> yay bloody picture I wonder if it's possible to get both in this version. Both the bloody picture and the TV, the male staticky. Who knows? Oh, these headphones I have on are all right. I mean, I like them, but they hurt my right ear because my right ear is differently shaped or has a different, uh, I don't know, yeah, differently shaped. We'll say that than my left ear. So my left ear, most headphones are comfortable, and my right ear, they are not. I got plenty of time until that text box disappears, so I could probably make that a little more optimal. But I've got like a few seconds before before she starts moving to do that. So, ah, ah, jeez, I keep forgetting. Like I'm, I'll get used to it eventually. But the the text skipping, I gotta remember that. I'm not sure. In the SNES version, you can do some RNG manipulation. Um, but in this one, um, and in the SNES one too, uh, there's Jennifer's position. So, like, if I want to click on this door, I need to wait until she's right in front of it, because otherwise she'll walk to the door. And I want her to run as fast as possible to the door. Um, she's got her, like, being tired or whatever that's, you know, her, her, her health. It's kind of, I mean, it, it's, it's counted as her health, but it's mostly just how fatigued she is. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and that does affect, like, when she's attacked or when you're blocking something. Um, but only, like, like you can still block anything initially. Like, if, if Bobby's in a position where he's attacking me and I'm not going to immediately die, um, she'll fend him off at least once no matter what, but um, if you're at full health, you can fend him off like three times, and then he'll, and then, you know, if you keep running into him, you'll die. Um, on this, you get to only one chance, and then, and then, and then he kills you. But for, for, you know, for, for speedrun purposes, it makes no difference. There's no point in resting, or there's no need to rest at any point. That being said, they did uh, decrease the amount of time it takes for her to get rested. For her health to go back up to blue, but 
it's still irrelevant to speedrun. To the casual play, it's actually pretty cool. But for a speedrun, it's not really that useful. You'll see right here, I'll keep my pointer on her so as soon as she hits that door, it's immediate. And that way she's not walking all the way to the door because she's slow. Please, no bad RNG, Jennifer. Don't die, Anne. Alright. Ooh, well, that increases our chances even more. Yeah, I pretty much have to sit like right by the, the edge of the screen in order to get that, but that's fine. So that's good. And so yeah, that optimization is just you know, Jennifer movement optimization. Um, there are a few things, uh, there's one RNG that um, that I'm probably not going to worry about because it happens almost every time. It's like, I guess, the god run if, uh, if it doesn't happen, at least in this version, in the SNES version, and I think in the PlayStation version it doesn't happen. Um, it's a cat when the cat runs out of the, the, the room with Walter. Um, that was a weird camera. Let me see, yes. Jennifer, oh my god, you stupid. Okay, alright, alright, alright. I'll take it, I'll take it. Alright, we may get something good here. <clears throat> Let's see where we can go. Um, the cat runs out, and if you get lucky, he does not. But I think in most cases, the cat will be just scared. It just scares Jennifer, but she has to run across the entire room to get scared, which is stupid. Go through there. If this is the crow room, this is almost perfect RNG, and I will accept... Nope. It's alright. Um, we'll go for it. I'm okay losing one room, honestly, and if that's if that's the run, then that'd be great. Um, so that wastes about, I don't know, 10 seconds-ish every wrong room. Um, there are two rooms to the right on the first floor here. If, uh... If the crew room is in is, is either of those rooms, then I'll have to reset, because it just that's too much time lost and there's no point. I'd rather just grind up the RNG, and it's and like I'm trying to go for a perfect run, but at least a, a decent one, you know. For this is stupid, she actually has to take a step back because it puts her too far. Um, in the SNES version, we can skip over this, skip over putting this down here as a bridge, um, but that glitch has been patched. Um, so, we just have to deal with it. Not too much time, but still, it's like, ah, come on. It's difficult coming from, you know, the SNES to this version, and, uh and uh, having to actually perform that action now. It's like, uh, <laughs> but it's fine. I select the idle now because unlike the SNES version, when you select an item, it persists across loading zones. And, um, and the next item I'm going to be using, actually that's a lie because I don't have the crow, and normally I have the crow key by this point, so I'll actually have to switch over to the crow key, so there's no point in doing that yet. Either way, that, that was kind of muscle memory, but that's fine. Um, so you may see the, the cat here, and that'll be rude, because the cat comes out of this box, and if he decides to do that, then she's going to run all the way over, get scared, and I have to run all the way back, and I'm like, oh my goodness, dude, it's stupid. Yeah, see. It may be Bobby, but I don't think it's ever going to be Bobby, just given how uh, how how the route we take kind of keeps him from appearing. Um, so, and like I said, in, in all the practice sessions I did, the only time that didn't happen was once, and it was just like uh, I, I tried a few things, try and manipulate it, and it may be manipulatable, um, but from what I tried, it was just kind of you got to deal with it. Got a wheel and deal, so whatever, it's fine. Uh, here's another example of manipulating her position. You have to memorize memorize where she's going to be when she reads and looks at things. Um, so, like, she her body, her sprite has to be across this line right here when I read this, and then it's almost immediate that uh, you know she shows up and does that, and that just saves a bit of time. But throughout the course of the run, that's that's quite a bit of time saved. You know, if you walked everywhere, obviously it would be slow as can be. And that's no good. Walter Simpson, Papa. This is her dad. Her dad is dead. 
he's been stuck in this room. Um, Mary was kind enough to have him deliver her children, her demon children, and then lock him in the room until he died. And that's part of the story. Uh, so, uh, if we get lucky in the crow room, then I'll probably finish it up and call that the run. Because if I wanted to grind it out, um, it'd take me about a day to grind out. I think a day is, is pretty acceptable. I mean, it's not like, in terms of user error, I mean, like like my error, there's not a whole lot that, that's a concern. Um, this game is pretty straightforward. Like, I mean, it's just point and click, you know, so not a lot you can mess up. I mean, you know, small optimizational things, but um, other than that, um, you know, that RNG would be, like, I'd just be hoping for better door positioning. And, uh, you know, if I got that, then that still saves quite a bit of time. And, you know, I mean, that, that's, a diff that's, that's a good amount of difference, but I'm not really concerned about that tonight. Um, I also, like, I mean, at the very latest, I have to be leaving in, like, an hour, because I have to go somewhere. But, um, you know, that, that'd be enough for me for today. That's, that's a run, at least, and that's something submitted on the boards. And hopefully gets, you know, a few more people into the run. I'd love to see more people run the game, but... Um, and there's a Japanese runner that did start um, the PlayStation version, which is fantastic. I love seeing, you know, this game getting more exposure. So if he, uh... I mean, I'm gonna, obviously now, I, I, I want every run on the board, um, on the page. You know, and there, there are three versions. I mean, well, there's not... The Wonderswan version isn't on there, but it, I'm assuming it's gonna be considered part of 1-2, so I need to add that category and then run it. <laughs> um, but, uh... Okay, we shouldn't see anything else come out of here. If we did, then it would probably be Bobby, and I wouldn't be very happy about that. Um, so we'll, you know, we'll deal with that when the time comes. But I'll probably run this PlayStation version eventually. Uh, but I'll let him have, have it there, because I, you know, this was just on my mind, so I decided to do this one, and honestly, it takes a long time to set up everything. I mean, it's not like I have my, my setup ready for capturing, uh, console gameplay. So it just, it would take time to do that, and I don't want to do that either. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. Alright. Let's get this taken care of. So... There's that. I'm going to. Um, she. This is new. Her run. I think her run to the door is new. I don't remember. Either way. Um, she's going to run to the door. I'm going to skip that text even more so. And then she's going to run back. And then um, the doll is going to immediately attack. Which is way better than the Super Famicom version. Because um, sometimes that's that's that was another point of RNG you had to deal with. Um, was you know, how long it took that stupid doll to actually attack you. Okay, if this is the crow room, then I'll be happy. Please be the crow room. Don't do this to me. RNG must save me. Holy crap. Alright, well then. I guess I guess this is gonna be the world record run until someone decides to beat it or until I beat it. Now that said I could still screw it up, but we'll leave it at that. Now this isn't gonna be fifteen minutes. Um so fifteen is fifteen and a half minutes is the uh is the um, the Super Famicom version? That's the time on there, and I don't think this is going to be quite 15. I mean, it would be a little over, maybe s I don't know, 17-ish minutes. Still pretty close, and in a perfect run, uh, maybe. Still, this is pretty close to perfect, so you know who knows. Also, um, if we find any glitches that we can actually use. I've got to remember to make my splits as soon as I run through this door to the left. Hey! 1320 for West Wing RNG Gauntlet. It's fine. It's about right here ish. Your feet. Got it. Yes. At least that's easy to measure now. So. Um, I, you know, part of me is like, oh, hey, this is going to be a world record, but only because, by default, because there's no other run in this category. It's fine, it's just, I'd, I'd rather there be competition, that would be way better, but either way, um, you know, there, there's a little more optimization that can come from this, but, uh, although pretty solid, considering, considering 
you know, this is my, what, 15th-ish attempt. That's not too bad. Um, and, and it could still be optimized, I'd say, even, even without that mist room. It could still be optimized pretty well. Not too bad. <coughs> so not terrible. Um, and then we'll try to get an even better time. Oh man, I keep like just like, one pixel off and she turns around for no reason. Um, so I'm going to pre-equip the robe as she runs towards the dog. Uh, there are two text boxes. I read that paper, right? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I read the paper that I have to read or else I don't get the uh, S in me. Um, so we run, pre-equip the robe, then we pre-equip the, or then we equip the uh, perfume. She's going to get scared. Two, one, two. That was scary. I probably shouldn't have clicked that many times. All right, and there's that. So now this is the point of no return in terms of casual gameplay. Uh, you can't go past that dog again, so this is pretty much when you're here, you, you're going to finish the game. Oh, shit. That was stupid. See, now I can click over here. <laughs> After that, that cutscene starts. Oh, that was stupid as hell. It's fine. I, I can still optimize the run, and I'm going to even more than, than this. I mean, I'll grind out the, the perfect-ish RNG. I'm also that cat. I mean, so, like, you know, one room down, um, the cat RNG, and I think that's about it, really, is the, the biggest, the biggest, I mean, you know, the run's not over yet, but the uh, the biggest things that are... Man, what's wrong with me? Um, see, I'm choking, because I'm an idiot. Uh, the, the biggest uh, time savers. So given those two, uh, 20 seconds maybe? So that's that's still a pretty significant amount of time. I mean, you know, 20 seconds is, you know, I mean, if you look at other runs that are, that are really competitive, 20 seconds is a long time. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to split for a lot is dead. sprite, I mean, when you think about it, it's a pretty unique sprite. And, uh, in the SNES version, the panic lasts the entire time. Uh, I don't think it actually matters until you get to here. But, uh, in this version, it's, it's all making your time to climb this. And that's, there's no point in giving that text, uh, because she has to, it has to play out in its entirety, so, you know, it could make it faster, but I don't think Sound quality is good because this is going to be submitted. <laughs> so we can start running before the camera's done panning, which is good. Still not terrible, not terrible. It's up here ish. And that should be the urn. So, 1805, um, we can save, you know, perfect run. We'll say 20 seconds to be safe, maybe a little more. So, 17 something is, is um, probably where the limit on this is, which is not terrible. That's only two minutes longer than the original, and that's, you know, including glitches. So, I mean, if we found a glitch that, you know, cut out any time in this one, then that could potentially, uh, that could potentially 
this could potentially be even shorter than the original, which is okay, that works for me. But, oh well, that's not bad. I mean, I've only been streaming for like an hour, a little less than an hour, and uh, got decent enough RNG to beat the game. I'm satisfied with it, but I'll, you know, I'll grind it out. I'll get it better, but maybe not tonight. I have, I have other things I have to do tonight. I was a little busier today than I wanted to be. But hey, at least there's that, so. Anna's alive, which is great, actually. Um, in the, in the SNES version, Anne's the one who dies, and Laura is the one who lives. But the first time I played this and got the S ending, uh, it was Anne that I saved, so that makes me happy. At least I can, you know, kind of reminisce about my first playthrough with this run. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to let this play out, and then I'm going to uh, cut the stream and submit it and eat. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I um, That sounds sarcastic. I didn't mean that it sounds sarcastic. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's, um... Yeah, I'll finish this, and then, and then maybe sometime, hopefully this week, I can get a chance to to grind a little bit more. I think, you know, like I said, maybe next Saturday, um, this coming weekend sometime, I can spend a day just going through and grinding it. I don't think I have anything I have to do. Um, my schedule is not always my own. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.